Good day mates, I'm Soumya Malhotra and today we are diving into the Australia's world-renowned education system, exploring the incredible opportunities it provides to international students whether you consider postgraduate or undergraduate studies. We'll together untangle the layers of academic excellence and the cultural richness. Australia boosts a flexible and diverse educational system. We'll begin by understanding the three main levels, that is bachelor's degree, master's degree and doctoral degree. Each level offers a unique pathway for international students to pursue their academic goals. A bachelor's degree from an Australian university is widely recognized around the world because Australian universities are accredited by the recognized bodies. The professional teachers across the world teach the classes and share their expertise. The practical sessions and internships allow you to apply your knowledge and skills in the real world problems. Even some universities offer job placements in the final year of bachelor's degree. The five best universities to study bachelor's in Australia are the University of Sydney, University of Melbourne, the University of Queensland, the University of New South Wales and Monash University. To study bachelor's in Australian universities, you must need to meet the basic eligibility criteria and requirements. While the exact admission requirements vary depending upon the program you choose, but the basic ones remain the same. They may include number one, higher secondary grades. You must have completed the 12 years of your schooling and have achieved the minimum of 65% in your higher secondary exams. Number two, English language proficiency. English is the medium of instruction in Australian University. So you need to give an English language test that can be TOEFL, IELTS or PTE. Third, passport and visa. You must have a valid passport and visa to study in Australia. All right, now let's zoom into the master's degree. Both universities and private colleges offer postgraduate courses in Australia. This master's degree has three formats, coursework, research and extended. University of Melbourne, University of Sydney, University of New South Wales, University of Queensland, Monash University are some of the universities in which you can pursue your master's degree. For an international student to study master's in Australian University has to fulfill some basic requirements such as Number one, a person should have a bachelor's degree in the field you have to do your master's degree and you should have a minimum of a GPA score. Number two, mandatory submission of English proficiency test which can be TOEFL, IELTS or PTE. Number three, previous work experience or any relevant work experience in the field you have to do your master's. On a doctorate level, there are two formats, research doctorate and professional doctorate. To apply for PhD in one of the Australian universities, a student must have a three to four years of a bachelor's degree with two years of a master's degree. The student should also have the high English language proficiency score. Some of the universities for PhD are University of Queensland, University of Southern Queensland, University of Melbourne, the University of Sydney and Bond University. Australia's education system isn't just about traditional degrees. We'll also explore vocational education and training, WET. It is a fantastic option for those who are seeking a more direct pathway to the work. In Australia, vocational education and training, WET, is the study that offers you the opportunity to learn specific and practical job skills. These courses are mainly for the students who wants to upgrade their skills in certain industry or wants to change their career path. For entering this course, a student must have completed their 12th grade or high school. You should also have English language proficiency test like IELTS, PTE or TOEFL. And you can also be asked for any work experience by some universities. These courses are provided by RTOs registered training organizations or TAFEs. The courses that are available in this program are Certificate 1, Certificate 2, Certificate 3, Certificate 4, Diploma, Advanced Diploma, Vocational Graduate Certificate and Vocational Graduate Diploma. Well, obviously, these all levels are different and all levels have different type of education in them. These courses can offer marketing, business, 
tourism, hospitality, graphic designing, and many more. If we talk about the duration of these courses that are for certificate one to four, it can be three months to one year. For diploma and advanced diploma, it can be from one to two years. For vocational graduate diploma, it can be one to two years. For vocational graduate certificate, it can be six months to one year. And the rough estimate for the cost of these courses can be four thousand to two thousand Australian dollars. For those looking to improve their English proficiency, Australia has incredible language courses. Whether you are aiming to meet the university language requirements or you want to enhance your communication skills, Australia has designed these courses to support your academic journey. English courses are also known as ELICOs. Now, what is ELICOs exactly? English language intensive courses for overseas students. This type of course is specially designed for international students who wants to upgrade their English language so that they can continue their higher education in Australia. It is based on four elements: reading, listening, writing, and speaking. It can last from one to seventy-two weeks or five to ten weeks, depending on the student's English level. Remember, you have to attend 20 hours of study classes and attendance is compulsory. There are four main types of ELICOS courses. Number one, general English. Number two, English for academic purpose. Number three, English for specific purpose. Number four, exam preparation. The rough estimate of the cost for these courses are 300 Australian dollars per week. Australia understands the importance of gaining practical experience. So now we'll delve into the post-study work rights as well as part-time job work rights while you are studying. A student studying in Australia can only work up to 48 hours a fortnight. However, on the official university break, a student can work up to unlimited hours. And about post-study work rights, for a bachelor's degree, it is four years. For master's degree, it is five years and for PhD degree, it is six years. And remember, these are only applicable to selected courses. As we conclude our exploration of Australia's education system, remember, it's not just about getting a degree, but about gaining a holistic educational experience. And if you are ready to embark on this exciting journey, hit that like button, share it with your friends and subscribe for more insights. This is Omya Malhotra signing off.